Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I want to thank the member for Lawler for moving this motion and for the opportunity to speak this morning on behalf of the 184,000 Australians who currently live in retirement villages, as well as the many thousands more considering such a move. As highlighted by my colleagues, the number of older Australians choosing to live in retirement village, villages re continues to rise, with approximately 5.7 per cent of Australia's over 65 currently living in a retirement village. As these numbers increase, it's important that governments consider the legislative framework that governs their operation to ensure that the rights of residents are protected, that people can retire with dignity and that the retirement industry is free from exploitation. In my electorate of Werowa, we've seen the development of a number of new retirement villages in the new land releases on the city outskirts, as well as a number of established villages throughout the electorate. While a number of these retirement village operators are well respected throughout my community for their work, sadly a number of constituents have reported to my office that they fear raising issues with their villages, um, with the village operators, owing to the mistreatment of other re residents who've also spoken out. Not only have we heard about complex contracts and exorbitant exit fees charged by some operators, for some retirement villages in my electorate, operators have tried to force residents to choose a service provider for the MBN and their landline phones that is owned by the retirement village operator themselves. Under the New South Wales Retirement Villages Act 1999, the operator of a retirement village must not restrict the right of a resident of a village to purchase goods and services from a person uh, that a person hasn't chose, let alone restrict a resident to to choose a provider owned by the operator. What makes matters worse is that because of the excessive exit fees charged by some operators, residents can find themselves unable to afford to leave a village while being forced to live under terms and conditions of a contract they didn't fully understand because it was designed to be opaque and confusing. As noted by the Chief Expe Executive of the Consumer Action Law Centre, Jared Brody, in relation to the AVO contracts discussed in the Four Corners program, not only are they over 120 pages in length, they're, desk, they're dense, they are hard to understand and they're legalistic. It's not good enough that residents are asked to sign contracts that, are deliberately, that deliberately obfuscate <coughs> fees and charges that most re reasonable people would consider excessive. It also co is completely unacceptable that the drive for profit by some parts of this industry has led by unethical behaviour and the exploitation of thousands of residents who were signed up with providers. On behalf of all residents in Werriwa living in retirement villages and all those across the country in the same position, I call on the Turnbull government to urgently commit to the development of a national regulatory framework for the retirement village sector, including simplification of contracts and strong consumer protection. While both I and my Labor colleagues are pleased that the Turnbull government has acted on, Bill Shaw, on the member for Maribyrnong's call for an immediate review of retirement living contracts with the consumer affairs ministers from each state and territory. It's important that that push for reform doesn't end at the COAG meeting scheduled for the 31st of August. As highlighted by the practices exposed in the Four Corners pro program, there's an urgent need for a national regulatory framework for retirement villages and protect, to protect the right of residents and hold unscrupulous operators to account. And the Common Commonwealth must work with all the states and territories to make this a reality. Not only will consumer protections in the retirement village industry benefit residents, but it also will ensure those operators who are doing the right thing by their residents are not forced to complete against AXS listed corporations who are more concerned with profit margins than the dignity of retiring Australians. <coughs> Labor is committed to ensuring all Australians have choice, control and confidence in the decision they make in retirement. Our communities should be aged age-friendly places where older Australians are supported to live independently, contribute to the community and age with dignity. I look forward to continuing the campaign for stronger communities, protections, proper regulation of this industry and I once again thank the member for Lawler for moving this motion. I commend the motion to the House. I thank the Honourable Member.